Hi everyone, it's Dr. The Plays here, and today we're going to take a first look at Life on the Edge, which uh, may look like a little bit of a science game when you first look at the title screen there, uh, but it is a tower defence game, uh, and it's one with a few unique characteristics by the looks of the Steam page as well. Uh, it's my first look at this, this is uh, a demo at the moment, so you can go check it out on uh, the Steam page, which will be linked down in the description below, way down there, like the video, and subscribe to the channel maybe. We're going to play the game, see what it's like, there's the sandbox mode I'm interested to see, and there's also just a play game, which is what we're going to do, 20 to 25 minutes as we normally do uh, with these kind of first looks, and we'll see what we get. Let's go for a new game, uh, and let's call this uh, Templaria. Why not? Right, so let's play this one then, so wave 0 out of 9. Okay, there we go. So this is uh, where we start. Now, one thing I do want to do is... Uh, okay, welcome to Life on the Edge. Let me just check the settings, because the actual music is quite loud. That's fine. Okay. Uh, th 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 that all works fine. Okay. Resume game. Okay, so this is our uh, cell, I'm guessing. So this is... Uh, is a sciencey game. You can see that there's molecules and things going past. Now, uh, you can move the camera anywhere, clicking on the keys, that's fine, or uh, clicking on dragon anywhere, try it now to continue, which I've done. Nice. You can zoom in and out using the wheels. Da -da -da. Let's do that. Okay, let's get your cell started. Okay, this is the nucleus, the central region of you. I'm going to try and pronounce this correctly. Eukaryotic cells? Eureka! So we get a new component, a mitochondria. They're essential to the cell. They're also the powerhouse of the cell. Uh, they produce uh, adenosine triphosphate, also known as ATP. Uh, it's also the name of the tennis tour. Uh, a molecular unit of current uh, energy currency to the cell. How much ATP your cell has is displayed in the nucleus. ATP is used to make the components your cell needs. Don't want to have ATP or your cell will die. So we're going to build four mitochondria. So pop one in there. One in there, let's do this nice and clean. Okay, so they give me currency, that's good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Excellent. New component nutrient carriers let nutrients like glucose into your cell using active transport. Okay, uh, nutrients like glucose help the cell perform functions like generate more ATP. Your nutrient level is critically low. Mitochondria produce less ATP when nutrient levels are out of balance, right? So there's some some incremental toxicities as well, but there is going to be combat in a bit. So let's click OK. Build four nutrient carriers. So we take one of these. Uh, let's go in between there, there, and there. So they will suck in the nutrients, and that will hopefully give us more mitochondria or more uh, the currency. I can't remember what it's called now. Okay, next. Did we get anything next? Yes, we need to fill this up. Come on. Feed me. It's getting there. We might need to build some more, actually, but I can't build any more because we've only got... Uh, I think we're just stuck at the moment. Maybe we'll build another one of these or two. Okay, your nutrient level is quite high. This will lower your ATP production. That's fine. You can close nutrient carriers so they can stop collecting nutrients. So we click on that and then close it. You can also break down or recycle a protein if you need to. This will yield some ATP. Click on this protein to control it. Uh, so we break it down and it goes. Does it automatically go into the middle? Okay. Uh, it's still very high. Still will close your nutrient carriers to lower your nutrient level. So let's click on you and let's close you. So we should be good there. Yeah, so now we're in the green zone, that's fine. And we are still staying relatively high. Do we need to close them all? Okay, your nutrients are balanced if you keep them in this range, just maximise your ATP production. So balance nutrients for 20 seconds. Let's open that one again. Okay, we're doing well. Let's open that one too. Let me get ready to close it again if it all breaks down. Which I think we should be fine. Back up to over a thousand of the currency. Open you too. Brilliant. So we've done our 30 seconds. That is all good. 
Right, aquaporins are chemical proteins that passively let more water molecules into your cells. Water is essential for biochemical reactions. Too much will cause your cells to lies and die. Okay. So build two of these. So let's pop one here. One here. Okay, so that is not increasing just yet. It costs me as well. Okay. Your cell is in homeostasis when its nutrient and water levels are both in balance. Maintaining homeostasis will maximize your ATP production and heal damaged cell components over time. Okay, we've got to maintain homeostasis for X amount of seconds, which we're not there yet. We are getting there though. Oh, that's it. It gets a big boost at some points. Come on. Right, we're in balance now. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, we lost it. We were one second away as well. There we go. Right, so we've done that now. What do we get next? Oh, we need that one back now. Okay. Ooh. What are you? You look angry. Diplococci. Diplococci? Incoming. Uh, these bacteria will attack your cell membrane, causing damage when they bounce off of it. They are quick and agile, making them tricky to defense, uh, defend against the cilia. Okay. So can I build some cilia? Oh, wow. Help. What can I do? I've got no defense. And they're just attacking me. Game, help me. Okay, so I can't defend. Can I click them? No. Nope. Right, so now I've got some damage. Right, the membrane segment has been destroyed. Your cell will lose water very quickly unless it is repaired. Ah, so we can build the phos phospholipid bilayer. Okay. So let's replace you. You can also try to repair structures before they're destroyed. Click on the structure, control it, and then click that. Okay. We're okay. They've gone now. They have disappeared. Do we need to fully repair? Right. Cilia can be used to rotate the entire cell. The more cilia your cell has, the faster it will turn. They can only be placed adjacent to each other. Okay. Let's just repair this one first. So, if I build a cilia here... And then a cilia here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ah. Okay, more bacteria are coming. This time you'll have to defend your cell. Uh, so with toxin exocytosis will reduce to slowly damage bacteria. Okay, so they always come from the bottom. Let's pop you there. Can we see them? Yes, here they come. Coming very slowly, but it's fine. All right, can you do something? Do you automatically shoot or? You do, oh, I like it. How dare you? Go away. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Right, he's dead now. So what's this? Okay, they're gone. I think he's gone way too far now. Well, you missed. You're a rubbish shot. It does defend itself. Oh, it does rebuild itself, though. That's good to know. Right, bacteria will explode into rich nutrients when they are defeated. Keep your nutrient carriers open to absorb these and gain some extra ATP, which is what I did before. rotate because these guys are up here now yeah get out of my way no you missed got that one okay your shots so this does make this a very interesting type of tower defense game literally fighting against 
the, uh, the living cells within uh, someone's body. Well done, but another wave of bacteria is on the way. You'll need to increase your cells' defences. That's fine. Okay, so we can click on that and we can upgrade it for 550. Not a problem. Number of dots below a component displays its current upgrade level. Right, uh, okay, mucus. Right, defeat seven of them. So I'm going to pop you there. Right, I actually want to face you this way. Okay. And then if I build another one there, for example. Okay, we should be good there. I don't know where they are just yet. Down there, that's fine. They will eventually catch us. Shooting them at long range is fantastic. Yeah, we're doing well there. That's fine. Exploded. Exploded. Will you explode now? Thank you. Yes, that's four more. Get the nutrients. So let's upgrade you. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Should be good. There we go. Off you pop. So we've defeated all seven of those, that's good. Your cell must adapt to changes in the environment to main, maintain homeostasis effectively. Uh, your cell can only support four nutrient carriers and four aquaporins. You may need to spread them out and get enough water and nutrients in harsh environments. It's fine. So maintaining homeostasis for 60 seconds shouldn't be a big problem at this point. So I've got three aquaporins. No, I've only got two aquaporins. I could do with a third, maybe. And this one here is... Uh, mm, might need more of that. I, I can't have any more nutrient carriers, though. So uh, let's just close you off if I can. No, can't. Okay, it's just automatically there. So, we're almost in homeostasis. Almost, he says. Let's pop down another mitochondria. Although that's only, it's not really doing much for me, but it's fine. Can we upgrade those? No, we can't do anything with those. thousand of the currency which is great I need more homeostasis though so if I shut down these guys what does that do for me not a lot wondering if I t tilt myself this way I'm losing it in the moment oh no no we just got a bunch then we are almost there going whatever you're doing keep going up the game speed a little bit so we can uh, speed that up along <coughs> right, another seven seconds done that that's grand right so let's just drag you back around a little bit right so now we can move on right so first level wasn't particularly easy i must admit i know what i've got to do now so that's fine so uh we need to build some mitochondria oops build a couple start that chaining up let's increase the game speed An aqua boring up there, nutrient carrier down there. We'll start getting things, bacteria coming soon. 
<clears throat> 300, let's build some defence there, that's fine. Interior are coming from down there slowly. Oh, the music changes, I like it. There's a cilia up there as well. Just so that I can move. Oh my word, they are fast. Okay. They are ridiculously fast. Okay. Okay. Right, let's pop down another Acroporin here. Uh, and another Nutrient Carrier here, for example. Uh, I need to <laughs> replace this. This is getting tough already. I didn't mean to do that. Come on. Don't know where my currency is for this. Oh, no, I do. It's there. Right, so let's just pop you there. That's a silly. I don't want that. I want this one. Come on, shoot. Uh, this is actually quite tough once you get going. Oh, that's that one dealt with. Go back around this way. That's it. Oh, no. Okay, that wave was complete. That was tough, though. Not going to lie. So they should gradually repair things. Um, I'm going to build one of you there. One of you there. I'm going to have another cilia there. Just let the cells regenerate a little bit. There's a lot of these things. But we're going to be okay. Right, just keep regening, that's fine. Eventually that will just regen itself, I think. Or do I need to replace it? I could have done, but that's fine. Okay, wave complete again. Let me upgrade you. You. Oh, I can't now. That should be fine, I think. We're still in homeostasis as well, which is good. Upgrade you. Do more damage. So the tower defence side of this is actually quite tough. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm going to need more. So I'm going to go for one of you there. One of you there. We've got half of our cell kind of covered. Okay, can you get shot please? No? The fact that we have to turn around is... is makes the game certainly more difficult. It's, it, it adds on another layer. Uh, I'm going to have another aquapore in just next to there. With a nutrient carrier there. Oh, hello. Right, Staphylococci. Uh, these bacteria will appear in clusters and are drawn towards your cell. Mucus cannons do an exceptional job at keeping these attackers at bay. Okay, that's fine. They form clusters as well. Okay. Let's zoom out. So we've got two of these guys here. We are okay at the moment. with a bit more defense that way. Okay, we did, we've done well. We've done very, very well. Wave complete. Fantastic. Whew. Right, I'm waiting for the other two defense tools to... Oh my god. Okay, I'm 
I'm going to pop down another mucus one there. Toxin one there. Let's level you up. And let's just pray. Because we've got storming, storming, storming waves here. So far, so good. Nothing's really breaching my defences, but I am getting shot at from pretty much every angle. Um, and I need to be careful because these guys around here are coming through now. I kind of want to just rotate. Just keep things going. Wave completed again. We're doing all right. Last wave. No idea what we're going to be facing here, but it's probably going to be tough. Uh, I'm going to pop the mucus one there with the toxin one there. And we'll upgrade both of these. They're all coming from everywhere now. Let's just upgrade you too. They're all on level two now, apart from these guys. It's all fine. So far, so good. The mucus is doing their job. The cannons are doing their job. I can't remember what the cannons are called. Uh, the exocytosis, that's the one. I had to read the screen for that. another aqua port. Oh no, I can't have any more of those. Nutrient carrier, that's what I want. We're not in homeostasis, but that's fine. Let's just turn around a little bit. Deal with the last dude there. Wave complete. And there we go. That's level 2 done as well. So, uh, the Staphylococci was the new thing there. Uh, I'm going to load up the next level. And what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, well, we can't well we can pause it so we're going to pause it there um i'm going to carry on playing this myself i think but i'm going to leave it there so you guys can go and have a look at yourself um in fact if i go back to the main menu there uh, so this is life on the edge it's a very different tower defense game to what i was expecting but it's quite fun as well i i didn't mind any of that it takes things uh like a, a normal tower defense and just flips everything on their head uh, in a completely different way and i love the way they deal with that uh, if you want to check it out links for that will be down in the description down below um you can also uh, like and subscribe to the channel while you're down there as well. Other than that, I'm Dr. DePlace. Thank you very much.